Okay, so what we're going to do is sand up the panels that you saw me gluing up just before. And for that, what I'm going to use is uh, my Chet 1632 Plus uh, drum sander. Before I bought this, I had to try and do this stuff by hand, and it took ages. And this wee machine is absolutely fantastic if you've got a small workshop. It saves so much time. Um, so how it works is there's a drum and there's a piece of sandpaper that uh, spirals onto it, it's held at both sides. You can buy the stuff pre-cut or you can buy just a big roll and cut it on your own, which will also save you quite a bit of money. So you just spin it on this and there's like a wee hook thing here. I'll also do a close-up of that and you feed it in like so and you're good to go. So there is a height is controlled by this handle here and the belt rotates at a certain speed you can control that with this dial here this here is the on off switch so I'll just do a quick run through and show you how it works you also have to have a quite a good dust extractor because there's quite a lot of uh, dust comes off of this um, so I'll just put it on Okay, so there's a few things you got to watch with this machine. Uh, one is to find that when this, when you put a new belt on, and you work with it for quite a, well, it's been on for a wee bit. It tends to heat up and expand, and over here, it will uh, be slightly slack. So you have to use it a few times and double check because it's not getting slack. And if it is, then just and you've only got to tighten it up from about here and work along and clip it in again tight, uh, tighter because the, the clip is here so you can see that down there the other frustrating thing with this machine is that, um, can you see this bit spinning around here, this black bit uh, it's like a connector, so there's one half here, one half here and there is a, a well they call it a spider and it's a, like a rubber um, piece that goes between the two to protect uh, the two halves from breaking. Uh, I find you have to replace that quite often, which is quite frustrating. Overall, this machine is fantastic. It saved me so much time. Um, the only thing I can't do is big tabletops, and what I do with that is I, t I take them to a big joinery company and they do it for me. So I can pretty much do 90% if not more on my sanding on this small machine.